focus of Thanksgiving is the traditional sit-down dinner. It may even be a nice idea to have children create place parts for the guests. They can be theme oriented. They can reflect the things that your children are most thankful for. Bring up place cards. Now it says what that's you need, you need colored construction paper. Water-based markers, white glue, glitter, scissors, fall walnuts in the shell. Cut shapes that reflect Thanksgiving themes from the construction paper, like turkeys or leaves or pumpkins. Traditional shapes such as turkeys and leaves can be drawn either freehand or traced from a book or magazine. Then use a guide on the construction paper. Write the names of the <coughs> guests on the cards. Leave room for the children to decorate the border using glitter and markers. When the cards are ready, take one of the scissor blades, generally prime layers facing the scene of the moment, and insert the place cards. Now, to begin the story, where can he be? Rabbit said in his most frustrated, I really want to know voice. It was the question that was in the mind of everyone sent at whose front door. The fairly frazzled rabbit once again rapped loudly on the door, which continued to stand unopened no matter how. Vigorously, he applied his knuckles. Tigger was sitting back on his table with his face flattened against the glass of Pooh's window. There's Mena. In moving in there, he informed the others. That doesn't mean a great deal. One would hear, nor he was seated on a nearby patch of grass. Not moving is one of the things Cooper does best, next to snoring. Any note? He added the little wheel excitedly. Isn't that right, Mom? Yes, dear. Kinga said that she smiled down at him and gently straight mm, this hair with her hand. Why would why would you ask her here if you we were if you we were somewhere else? Whistle the go her scratching his head. Unfortunately, Gopher's whistle is something I have trouble imitating. But it started wringing his very small hands worry. Worried thing. Oh dear. He sighed. I do hope he's all right. Now let's not jump to conclusions. Kanga spoke up gently. If I remember correctly, Kanga continued, who simply asked us to meet him? He didn't mention where. The very nice of him too, remarked the earth. He obviously didn't want just to the bad we couldn't find the right place, so he kept the location a secret. Now, Rabbit sighed, if we can I only think of the place where Pooh is. Perhaps you just did, Lombardia. Pooh was certainly thinking about some thing when he called us together. And Pooh Boy always does his best head work, continued Tigger. In his very own pop, a spot, Fish Piglet. And that is exactly what I. And when the Pooh, high atop the grassy knoll, with a spectacular view of the hundred acre wood, where Pooh loved to sit and think. It was the sitting in such a special place. At least that was important after all, not the thinking. And there was no doubt as to what Pooh was being awful about. It was all spread out on a blanket before him. Pooh's pantry he must have been completely empty because everything sweet and tasty. He had been all of his house to the grassy knoll and arranged to look its most delicious. I'm very glad you come, I winged to happily. I don't think this food could have waited much longer. And neither could I, he added with a smile. And his picture of the gang with Al about the woman in the corner. Then let's not waste a moment. Then let's not waste a moment more, announced Rabbit. And they all sat down to eat. I'm very glad to see you at last, 
said he, I hope I haven't brought too much to eat. No such thing as too much eat. When eating is the name of the game, Chugga Tigger, he happily worked his paws together. Is eating the only reason you called us together where? asked thou. Called you together where? responded Pooh, tucking his tongue carefully into the corner of his mouth as he pulled the stop. Around a fresh crock of honey, because as, any, as everyone knows, a stopper cannot be properly pulled if a tongue is not tactically tactically tucked. Why go to see Pooh? Squeaked Roo. Did I do that? said Pooh, so surprised by the idea that he waited an extra signal or two before pouring an extra large dollop of honey into his mouth. He certainly did. And said Gopher, and we want, and what we want to know is why you did it. Not that it wasn't an excellent idea, Pooh dear. Kind of well, murmured Pooh in a thoughtful sort of way, says he generally tugged an ear with his honey sweet paw. It must have begun this morning when I sat down for breakfast. Pooh explained that he was suddenly very much aware of how special breakfast be because, like so very many things, sunsets and birthdays, surprises, and that times hugs and extra dessert. Our breakfast was more than just today. It was an always there when a bear needed that sort of thing. Give me a grateful to you? Asked Piglet in a very quiet voice when his friend had finished. Ah, oh, yes, Piglet, smiled Pooh. That's exactly it. And it was such a wonderful thank you very much feeling, and so very, very large, that I knew it was something I had to those I'm most grateful for. And what sort of those do you mean, Pooh? wondered Owl. Why, you know, of course, exclaimed Pooh, my very best and dearest friends. Well, sniffled, sniffed Rabbit, <coughs> I'm certainly grateful that you thought of it. And what are you grateful for, Piglet? Pooh inquired politely as he put his arm around his friend's very small shoulders. Well, began Piglet, nervous. Me and then continue the rush. For a very small animal, I'm, I have a great deal to be grateful for, and having a lot to be grateful for is when you come right down to what? A lot to be grateful for. Finished quite out of breath. Rabbit explained like what he was primarily thankful for, besides his many very good friends, of course, was that a seed had the ex. Dreaming good sense to sprout to any point. And then in his garden. I'm great. On that the ground looks as good from underneath as it does from on top. Was it a gopher? Yes, sir. And here's a picture of gopher. Oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Cute. Tigger expressed his grudge. But that downing through the other was just as splendiferous as upping. The item for which I am indeed most thankful, and I'm sound as my dignified voice, is that I always remember in the different time to land on my feet and not on my face. I'm grateful just for the chance to be grateful, grumbled Dior, if that's all right of everyone that is. Everyone agreed that it was indeed quite all right of them. Kang and Lil Rue said they were grateful for each other, but at exactly the same time. And at that very moment, Christopher Robin arrived. White Owl broke and said, I'm terribly sorry to be so late for there. What exactly are you doing here? We're having a feast and telling each other what we are grateful for, said Pooh. The Pooh surveyed the blanket and realized that there wasn't a single smack or anything like to eat. You missed the feast part, I'm afraid, he told Christopher Robin sadly. That's all right, laughed Christopher Robin. I can still do the other. The news took up straight and began to speak in a very grown-up point. I'm very grateful for having the opportunity of finding you all here together, and so I can invite you to join me for Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving... Thanksgiving dinner? Exclaimed Ed. We were all once. What was that? Well, you already know the most important part, laughed Christopher Robin. It's a special... And when all the things were grateful, all for all the year had their own day to celebrate Bupa. Their very own day to celebrate Bupa. What a nice idea! And Bupa satisfied smile. I'd like to thank you for part of it. You've 
I'm going to go buddy on loan, somebody there, shouted Tigger as he slapped Pooh head there in the back. Ah, said Pooh with a grin. The little part did sound familiar, and you didn't mention dinner? Pooh asked the fully. Oh, you can eat any more, because we're having a short in. This is wonderful, said Pooh as he rubbed his Well, the face to eat dinner is something we're all warmed up for. Everyone agreed that it was indeed quite wonderful. Another thing, said Pooh, or Lee. To be so very grateful for. What do you think? Honey, you read that very well. And I do believe you were not aware by actually recording you on here. Thank you for thank you for reading that story. I wanted to do, I wanted to let you be the honors of doing it because well you never get to read one of them. You never get to read a story because I always read stories to them once every month about Thanksgiving. My story wasn't very good Thanksgiving, but that story was perfect. So, guys, I'm glad you guys and all enjoy this. And applause for my boyfriend's reading skills. And now, let me work on it. And your final words, love? Well, it's just the fun story. No, I mean, course. like, say, no, I mean, like, say, a happy Thanksgiving greeting. I'll be posting this on on, yeah. on, on Thanksgiving, actually. Well, thank, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. And you know what? I'm thankful for meeting this wonderful man five years ago as a pin pal, and now we're boyfriend and girlfriend. Um, <laughs> six years ago now, actually. Oh, six? That's my hub. Adios, my lads. Okay, my brony watchers, remember to subscribe to my channel, and remember, there's always more with me than meets the eye. Or, should I say, more than meets a white rose. Night, folks. Hee <laughs> hee